I'm Susan Vaughn, and today's show you don't want to miss because it is sex, sex, and more sex. Are you sexually confused? How is your sex life? Have you ever wondered if you're a sex addict? Everyone else is having more sex than you. Interestingly enough, many of the people that I was working with were screenwriters. I call it PIVI, penis and vagina intercourse. I did this show quite a while ago. It was about spanking. Joe, quit that. I'm sorry, you just said spanking. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> the, the person that I had on the air was a person who wrote a magazine for, for spankers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, <laughs> Joe um, was becoming aroused. <laughs> Settle down, Joe. So true. It's so true. <laughs> I didn't know you were a spanker, Joe. <laughs> Maybe he's a spanky. Hmm. All righty. We continue to need more and more and more extremes Mm -hmm. in order to get off, in order to have an orgasm or or whatever. (laughs) We're all looking at (laughs) you. Of course, ironically enough, with smartphones, people are getting their porn right there in the palm of their hand, so to speak. (laughs) (laughs) I don't really like the word impotence. It is applied to men. Yes. And, the, you know, the quality of, of the guy's erection and the rest of it. So, you know, a lot of people are, are really very, I guess I would say, freaked out about masturbation or solo sex. But actually, it can be very educational, right? Oh, yes, very definitely. I really in- encourage women especially. I mean, with little boys growing up, you know, th- they discover their penis very, very early on. It's right there. It floats in the bathtub, I understand. <laughs> it, it, Vibrators can do something that no one's tongue or finger or penis can do. Right. Sex toys, Joe. Mm. She had some really fun uh, games you could do, including strip poker, uh, who can climb into bed fastest, or different ways you can climb into bed, right? How many different ways? Who can undress the fastest? Who can bounce the highest on the bed? And tickle spots. Because boring, serious sex is not, not so fun. You know, after midlife, what happens for men is that very often they're less able to have a dependable erection. When one has an erection and it goes away, when it comes back, it comes back stronger. Mm. Erection, connection. Mom is calling in. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. (laughs) Have you been playing sex games, Mom? Yes. One of the things that... (laughs) strikes my funny bone is the time that uh, I was on top and I started whipping that pony and then uh, singing that little Roy Rogers song. God, what is happening? Adam Cowboy. Oh my God. What song is it? Trails to you. <laughs> Whip that pony, Mama. And- I know for a fact that you're having some of the best sex of your life at 83. In the past couple of years, you've had some of the best sex of your life, right? Absolutely. So why is that? You feel more comfortable. You have the gr- a great partner. He read the book of how to. Please so, a woman. Yes. There are times when he's not able to complete the intercourse. Mm-hmm. And that's when I encourage him to rest a little. After we think about it and talk about it, then he's ready to go again. Hmm. So just a, a little patience will do you. Absolutely. Well, now, you're, you don't have the same body that you had at 25, at 83. You have a different body now. Well, this man is not 21 either. Your boyfriend is 93, right? 92. 92. Don't oh, make oh, I'm him older. <laughs> <laughs> and still going. Ah, he's doing good. Yes, he is. He's doing really good. You said that you've had two husbands that you thought were very good lovers. What made them good? Super good hygiene, which is very important to me with my super nose. Mm. And I can smell things a block away. Now, one other thing as you've gotten older is that you use tools now that perhaps you didn't have to use when you were in your 30s, right? For example, that gallon of Astroglide you just bought? There's nothing like Astroglide. It doesn't break down after eight hours of sex. (laughs) Mom, are you having eight hours? Uh, No, (laughs) but um, might.
You would if it was available. <laughs> as long as I could hold out, yes.